thing I want to do is I want to give a shout out to all the Olympians, um, to the basketball team, to Michael Phelps, uh, to track and field, all the athletes who participated, who came home with the medals. Hey, I want to say big ups to y'all, and um, that was straight. Good representing America the way you did. Very proud of you all. Secondly, I couldn't, I would be remiss if I didn't mention my brother Don Lee because every time the Olympics come around, I think about you, brother Don. I think about how you were slated to represent America in the middleweight division, I believe it was. It was a welterweight division in 1980, which happened to be the year that politics and sports really clashed and the Americans decided to boycott the 1980 Olympics. At that time, Jimmy Carter was the president. So to Don Lee and Tito and all of y'all who were supposed to go to, um, where were you guys supposed to go? Oh, man, I can't even remember. You got me on that one. Uh, y'all was, where the, wherever the Olympics was supposed to be in 1980, we boycotted. But you know y'all was champions and I do believe that the course of y'all lives would have been a lot different had the Olympics um, played out the way they should have and did all through history except for 1980. So you know Don, I can't never watch the Olympics without thinking about you, can never watch the Olympics without wanting to give you a shout out um, because you're still my champion and you and Tito like I said and all the other guys who were slated to represent in the 80 Olympics, that medal was still for y'all because y'all was gonna go and represent. You just didn't, wasn't given the opportunity. So I gotta make sure I throw that shout out to y'all. Now, to the real news at hand, what the heck did y'all think about that damn Democratic convention? Did Stevie turn it out? Stevie had it uh, as if it was a, a concert, a rock concert. Uh, Cheryl Crow, um, John Lennon, Legend, I'm sorry, oh, John Lennon, John Legend, um, Will I Am, all of y'all, they have set it off, y'all set it off, and I'm glad. It was just so wonderful to be a part of something so beautiful where the human family for one day, you know, was unified and it transcended color, transcended race, um, because your hope now, our hope in a country is in a black man. Is in a man who uh, represents uh, change, hope, um, and I'm, I'm proud for that. I'm proud for Barack. I think Michelle, oh gosh, she did so well as first uh, She's going to do very well. But is it me or does she remind you of Jackie Onassis Kennedy? Kennedy Onassis to some degree, the black one, you know? I'm like, wow, this is really eerie. I don't know if it's the hairstyle, I don't know if it's the, the length. I don't know, it's just something going on there that's bringing me uh, right to Jackie Kennedy. But um, nevertheless, I was very excited. Um, I really think John McCain has got his work cut out for him. First of all, if I was watching just from an aesthetic point of view, and a guy like McCain stood next to a guy like Barack Obama and they were trying to convince me of anything I would much rather listen to the um, person that looked like he was in touch with what was uh, the issue and I don't feel that from John McCain I don't I feel that he is so out of touch with reality he looks outdated he reminds me of an old shoe that it's played out and there's no disrespect it's just that you look like you're not up for the task sir and you need to move around now I as I begin to watch and as I was watch as I have since Monday uh, I observed all the speakers I think they all did such a wonderful job I think John Kerry he impressed me he impressed me an awful lot but his speech was like four years too late because I don't know I, you know the Illuminati is tough but had he been a spirited in 2004 
as he was last night, I don't understand how he could have lost. I just don't understand. Um, but then again, that machine, that Republican machine was in full force, so they probably was stealing votes and doing things of that nature uh, um, and just corrupting the whole process. But John Kerry really impressed me, um, as did Ted Kennedy, uh, as did Michelle. Like I said, I, I really... I really was a Hillary. Oh man! Although she, um, of course, lost. I thought it showed a lot of character, and that's a. I have to give my kudos to her because I think that's got to be one of the most hardest things to do if you think about it, even on an ego or a personal level, that you lose to somebody. And now you're standing up and you're right there and you got to make sure that you don't look like you're not upset that you're not standing here in the way you want it to be. And I think she pulled it off very well. I want to give kudos to Hillary Clinton, you know, because she did a wonderful job. I was just really impressed all the way around with how the convention went, you know. It was really a... Uh, it was really a... Uh, a good thing to see. Now what's going to be crazy is next week when we begin to watch how the Republicans gather. You know, that's going to be it's going to be crazy. And locally speaking, uh, I'm just hoping that I don't see Cedric Daniels or Gerard Randall uh, right in the front because that to me is a travesty. And that's another show but I sure will hope that these brothers would step themselves back out of this limelight. Uh, and they want to support John McCain. I hope they are smart enough to keep their stupid uh, Uncle Tom Negro shuffling behind, behind McCain. As opposed to being right out in front with George Bush as they did um, in 2004 and 2000. Please spare us that. Would y'all do that? I'm not going to even call y'all uh, brothers. I'm going to call y'all uh, the, the herders that lead your people to the slaughter. That's what I'm going to call you to. Now, enough of that being said. You know what was amazing to me? Something really amazing. But I don't know if it was just me. Because sometimes, you know, I can go out there and, as an artist. I get to thinking sometimes too much. But what... I saw that really impressed me is I couldn't think of n not a time in history where a man has called people and drawn people the way that black men have over the course of my life. Whether it was Dr. King called in 250,000 people to the Lincoln Memorial, I mean, that's an awful lot of people. Uh, or uh, my minister, Louis Farrakhan, calling out and putting out a call for a million black men to meet in the same spot. And they responded in droves and they came from all over to be a part. The Hugh man, the first man, the Adam of the earth. When he gets himself in order and he calls back all that has come out of his loins. Hmm. When he calls it back, there's like a phenomenon that happens. And I want y'all to understand this. So I think it's a real spiritual thing that's happening around Barack. It's like an exodus. You know, it's like a, a movement. And um, I think only... A black man can call people together. And if he's walking in his authority, and if he's walking in his spiritual enlightenment, that he can call the whole world, cause the whole world to become loving again. It may take time, but we can at least entertain a thought. Sounds good to me. How about y'all?